Why are people suffering from prolonged cold and cough lately? What is the reason behind this prolonged dry cough? Is it due to COVID-19 impact or is it the pollution? Is it a seasonal change or is it a flu? CNN News 18's Shireen Elizabeth tries to decode what could possibly be behind this in this conversation with Sir Gangaram Hospital's Dr. Pooja Khosla. So what is really happening at the moment? We are seeing that there is an increase in cases as far as these uh, prolonged dry cough and cold are concerned. What are you observing? How many, is there an actual increase that you are seeing or is it just a buzz in social media? No, uh, definitely there is a steep hike in the number of patients who are coming with prolonged dry cough or they have cough with expectoration, they have wheezing mm -hmm. and this increase has been carried on from December practically till the beginning of March which is a little unusual because uh, February generally they die out. Mm -hmm. That's a flu season. So this prolonged uh, cough which is carrying on is because one uh, sharp rise in the flu cases, flu A and even now we are getting flu B. Mm -hmm. And there are uh, pockets where adenovirus specifically in children and immunocompromised patients, mm -hmm. the numbers have increased. So yes. you pointed out the flu vaccine. I'm sure a lot of people are not aware of the flu vaccine. So that adult vaccination concept somehow is uh, not, uh, people are not aware of it or even if they're aware, they kind of ignore. So people who have any kind of a respiratory illness like they are asthmatic so they have a weak ch chest because of COPD or any lung disease or people who have low immunity or diabetics over 60 uh, people who are on immunosuppressive suppress agents like steroids or any uh, condition they have where they need to be on medication which reduces immunity for them these vaccines are kind of mandatory uh, do you think this could be a long uh, term impact of covid that we are people are experiencing probably like a weaning of immunity not not really or virals will have similar symptoms all virals which affect the upper uh, respiratory tract which goes on to the lower tract the symptoms are going to be same. Mm. The dry cough, runny nose or mm, my uh, throat irritation. If we are ignoring it, the phlegm gets, um, uh, the, uh, there's accumulation of phlegm. Mm. So they cough more when they lie down. So that means it's progressed on to sinusitis or it continues and they have this musical sound wheezing, which if it continues for two weeks, so that's called bronchitis. Mm. It's just that it progresses.